What's up guys and welcome back to our channel. Today we are in downtown. It is actually miraculously a little bit cooler than it has been. Usually it feels like Satan put his butt crack right on Hill Street. But thankfully today it is beautiful and it feels good. We're looking good, we're feeling good. We're gonna have a beautiful day. And Darby and I are actually here to meet up with our new friend Asher and his brother. They are watch and jewelry wholesalers here. So one, really excited about the watch connection, but two, what I'm really, really excited about is the jewelry connection because I have plenty of connections here when it comes to sourcing watches or all over the US when it comes to sourcing watches. But what I do not have is someone that I can trust when it comes to purchasing jewelry. So this will be a really good way for me to kind of get more plugged into that world and hopefully I can possibly even learn a thing or two from them. So y'all come with me and we'll go hang out with them and then we'll get back to it. Hey, how are you? Liz, so nice to meet you. Yeah, sure. Hi. Hey, how's it going, man? Hey, Darby. Nice to meet you. You guys want some drinks, some water or something? I would love a water. Yeah, watching guys and stuff. So. Oh, thank you. Yeah, you guys doing a great job. Is that your background before watches was? Yeah, yeah, I was shooting. I'm um, shooting for my brother. Our main business was jewelry. It is jewelry still. I actually now since like we do watches also mm -hmm. like my brother's been doing for. We sell like a lot of jewelry to the watch dealers. Yeah. And the groups and stuff. Mm -hmm. and this is how it's set up, just because it's wholesale. Yeah. It's like rings and stuff, but. That's mm -hmm. hey, what's, what's up, up man? How are you? Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Liz, nice to meet you. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Darby. Darby. Oh, how long have y'all been doing this? He's been doing it for like 15 years or so. Yeah. Yeah. Here? Yeah, in downtown. We started in mm -hmm. Diamonds. He started working for, uh, for a guy in Israel mm -hmm. who would uh, buy big stones and sell it in the building. This building's like wholesale diamonds. Slowly watches also, like how long the watches, like 10 years ago? Yeah, it was like 10, 10, 12 years ago. There's not a lot of watch guys in this building. Maybe like five or seven of them. Yeah, it's mostly the guys like downstairs. Yeah, down even downstairs, there's no like to go to guy like in LA. You know, yeah, yeah, really no, crazy definitely LA not. Has a crazy yeah. market. I think LA needs that. Like, definitely. Yeah. Usually our watches like that we get in, because also we don't really need to stock much watches, because mm -hmm. we get orders, so we yeah you know, we source and then sourcing yeah. yeah. So like these will be here today, and then tomorrow will be like you know our next week will be a whole new batch. Mm -hmm. So these are already sold. No, a few of them are. These are the ones. This one sold. Um, this sold, this is sold. And we also we have two ways of our business. Like one business is we just sell like online kind of, like for orders, and then we do mm -hmm. a lot of like bulk, like sales to like dealers. Like we'll sell them like 30, 40 watches in one shot mm -hmm. and make like, you know, 100, 200 bucks just for like volume to get like money into, you know, rolling and buying and stuff. We also sell online a lot. We were never retail till like we started doing TikTok. I don't know if you saw. Uh, I saw your IG, I didn't see IG, TikTok, yeah. yeah. TikTok's great. You guys are on TikTok? We're on TikTok, but we're on TikTok. I am. I'm not. Now. Like, I have never been one who was even one really for social media at all. So this has been a pretty interesting and big change for me going yeah. and doing all of this on my own. It's been very interesting. Yeah, I know you have this guy in front of you with the camera. Oh, <laughs> yeah. And he gets close, he gets, too. He'll yeah. get real close. <laughs> He'll get real close and you're not supposed to look at it. <laughs> that's the thing that's hard. That's the thing that's really I know, that's the thing that's really hard is you're probably like, hey guys, No, you're fine. People started we did like videos and like it took us like forty times to do it, you know, like to figure out Yeah. And like you and you get like nervous, like you're talking to camera and like you get like you don't have confidence to talk to the camera. Oh yeah. Oh, me too. I, I stumble on my words and I'm awkward just in general without this. So then this comes into play and it's like a double whammy. Wow. We upgrade my ring. <laughs> and this is an emerald cut, right? Getting married. Oh, nice. Yeah. Mazel tov. Thank you. Yeah, it's an emerald cut. It's a seven carat. So this gets sold like eight times before it gets to that to the end person. Yeah. So let's say this one will come from either India, Israel. It comes from the mine, but then they cut it in Israel and India from the mm -hmm. rough. And then it hits us, and then it hits the 
someone else, and then it hits a store, and then the store hits you. So, and sometimes it can even hit another couple people. And then it me. keeps getting sold just as the diamond. Just as a diamond, but when uh, Belgium sells it to Israel and like Dubai sells to Israel or India, they, they sell it as it. a rock. And then oh. Israel and it India. Like a raw material. Yeah. It used to be always like... Israel, but now India is cheap labor, so now they're doing a lot of it too. Look at how beautiful. So what does a profit margin on something like that look like? Every guy in there makes like 20, 15 to 25 percent. So times six, seven people it adds up. Mm -hmm. But then when it gets to the retail store, they'll probably add like 50 percent. Yeah. Because, you know, they have sales people, mm -hmm. they have, you know, marketing. They have the whole overhead. But for us, we just take it you know, from the factories and we sell to someone in the building, we add like 10, 15%. Mm -hmm. So what's the total retail value of that? That one, he would know better. You know, what's the total retail value of this one? Which one? Um, like if you go into a store and Beverly Hills. Probably, you probably pay for like 140, 150 and we're selling for uh, 65K. That's just because everyone has to eat, you know? It's yeah, of course. Eat. But we don't sell this retail just because it's a headache to sit with someone for two weeks and yeah it's a lot watches will sell because it's like here take it wire us mm -hmm. <laughs> right this you need to design it and do all that stuff yeah watches was never something that i really knew about like i come from the sticks like in texas my family like the fact that i'm out here doing this is crazy the fact when yeah. i moved out of my small town to dallas to live with him that was like a huge like big city move that was like wild to my parents i had never really known anything about it never yeah. like the way i grew up never thought i would ever be around stuff like this never yeah, had any idea you know so much on I oh to, yeah you know, absolutely where in some places you live it's like the house is like you know exactly thing. and i think that's why like i do i have a lot of respect for stuff like this you know because it's like my parents still like they come out to visit and my dad won't hold one of the watches yeah you know darby will be like oh you know you should wear this or you should you know wear my watch or put this on he won't do it he's like too it's like he won't do it. He's yeah. like, it's too much. I can't do it. It freaks him out, you know? And it's just crazy because it's like, this is stuff I do every day. So yeah. I just have a big respect for it because it's like people really do live their entire lives and never get to so see anything one. like this. Or, I mean, not even just buy one, but like yeah, go up it, to yeah. be able to see it, to hold it's it, like to look at it. Like yeah, no it's insane. This is like more money than some people will ever see in their there. entire lives. And some people just act like it's like, like it's you know, like whatever, and it's like, it's a big deal, yeah. you know? Like right now I'm missing a stone, a 20 karat emerald, and I'm looking for it. It's like yeah. a million and a half dollar stone. I want to show it to you guys. Oh, like I'm tripping out, I'm like, where is it? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have it cleaned right now and set and, you know, yeah. finished product. In the future, like, if you have any like sales for jewelry or watches, yeah, you know, you, you can use our office to like, um, yeah, you know, sure. show anybody or whatever, like we'll help you out. Like, Do y'all have a website? We're unveiling our website on Monday yeah. and putting it live. So if you want me to put any jewelry, I can send you photos. And yeah. I have, I have uh, already photos. You do? Yeah. yeah. And then I, with uh, with all the pricing and stuff. Yeah, just yeah, give us for what sure. you I was going to say, if you have yeah. like a spreadsheet we'll... you want to send me or something, like with everything, I can post it on my website and then Definitely, yeah. get stuff sold. I have the photos. You, know? you don't even need to take the photos. Okay, again cool. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. Is this factory? Yeah, factory. It's really hard to get diamond bezel. Diamond gonna dial say, is kind of it's okay to get, but like diamond bezel, diamond dial is like really hard yeah. to get. So gorgeous. That yeah, blue is yeah. insane. I don't know if you yeah. can see it that great on video, but that is stunning, stunning, stunning blue. This used to be the most popular watch like two years ago. This dated on all yeah. of it. But like the last two months, I'm selling thing. the yellow one, the yellow with the What's green. crazy is when they were at the most expensive is when everybody was buying yeah. them. And now that they're half as much, That's how it is. nobody's That's buying them. I'm like, get them now. People, <laughs> people, the retail people, they don't understand. When the market's down, you, you buy. buy. Yeah, exactly. Down, you always buy when it's low. That when trickle. It's high, you know? yeah. all, the, all the investors and in like diamonds, up, they're bulking up on watches because mm -hmm. they know there's going to be the hype again. Yep. It's, Rolex isn't going anywhere. It's up, down, Exactly, down, so. yeah. And that's why I love working so much with Rolex. Like I work with other watches, but Rolex yeah. is my main because it's just so tried and true. Yeah. 
Thank you so much for having <laughs> us. It was, it was so pleasure. nice to finally meet you yeah, in person. Yeah, looking forward to doing a lot of work together. Yeah, and, this will uh, be great. We LA people have to stay uh, close. You know? Yeah, stick together. I'll have Darby send you my business email, and then you can share with me the spreadsheets and everything for the jewelry and the watches. Well, that was nice. They're super nice. I'm always super stoked when we can meet other people in the industry, and I really love that they're into jewelry so much because I don't have a lot of connections in the jewelry world. I have a lot of connections in the watch world, but this will be really cool to have people in the jewelry world that I can be connected to and kind of, you know, have friends in that industry as well. Um, also having somebody who can supply so much for our jewelry side of things is really, really neat. So it's exciting. Got a text. He has a 2021 GMT Batman and a 2022 Starbucks, both full sets that he's wanting to sell. Sent some photos. They are beat to. If you can see that. Yeah. So I'm gonna call him and give him quotes on what I'd be a buyer for on those. Hi, this is Liz with Rebel Lux. I had a a couple texts with this phone number. Oh, hey, Liz. hey, how are you? Yeah. Not bad, how are you doing? Good, good. Who, who am I speaking with? Oh, uh, this is Nice to meet you. Oh, Do you have a second to chat about your watches? Yeah. Okay, cool. For your Starbucks, I could do 13, mm -hmm. and then for your Batman, I could do 14.5. All right, so 27.5. The Batman is obviously needs a polish. Yes. But I think, what would the price change if the, um, the Starbucks, I don't think it was ever worn. I just need to pull out the, the safe to see. I think it's brand new. That would definitely up the price a little bit. It would up it around like 500. Yeah. My buy prices are always low because I can get into watches very cheap. No, no, I get it. But I, get I also, too. I do offer consignment if that's something that you're interested in. I just charge a small consignment fee, whatever the watch actually sells for. What uh, percentage do you go? You just 5%. For? Let me do this. Let me, um, I'm at the gym now, but let me get, when I get home, let me get a photo of the Starbucks. I okay. need to make sure. I'm pretty sure I thought it was used, but I realized I'm, it was mixing up with the Hulk. Okay. And I do wear that one, but I don't think I've ever wore the Starbucks. So okay. let, me, let me get back to you ASAP. Okay, no worries. Just let me know. Okay, thanks, Liz. Yeah, absolutely. I'll talk to you soon. If the Starbucks is true new unworn then it'll up it around five hundred dollars to like 750 just depends on what we could sell it for he will definitely be able to get more out of it either of the pieces if he consigns just because i do only charge five percent the reason my buy prices are so low is because i can go into dealer chats and buy wholesale pricing at any time i need to so if somebody calls me and says hey i need a batman i can go into the chats and get a batman i get it at the lowest cost and then i'm able to sell at the lowest cost it only makes sense for me to go and buy a watch and have money actually sitting out on a watch for basically no reason i don't have a retail store at this moment you know so i'm not trying to stock a ton of inventory i'm working mostly solely off of sourcing at the moment it's kind of a thought of like why would i go and tie my money up and spend you know this will be around 27,000 27.5 is what i would spend in the dealer chats if i went to go buy both of those i would probably end up spending around 1500 to 2000 more because if i go and source it out of a dealer chat i'm I'm immediately gonna turn around and flip it and sell it to someone else. That's why I'm buying it in the dealer chat. So I already have quoted someone, I'm gonna sell it for X price and then I turn around and find the watch for as low as I can. Having a dealer chat is basically an, an endless inventory. I have an endless inventory that I can go and pull from 
at any given point. So the only way to make sense to expand that inventory and put money into something that's not over here that I can easily access is to get it at a lower cost to where it makes sense to where I can turn around and sell that super fast. And if the market takes a dip or anything happens weird, I can go and sell that to a dealer or a true collector and not have to worry about losing any money on the deal. We'll at least get off even. So obviously that's not the goal, but you definitely don't want to be out money. I've never ridden in one of these before. That's so like funny. Such a I know, I do too. <laughs> Good to feel like a tourist. It really turned into be a beautiful day. Jeez yeah, it car. is really pretty out here today. Do you get a lot of rides during like the weekdays? Just before I spoke to you guys, just now I just finished a tour. What What do you do for the tours? What's that? Uh, it depends on the time frame. So uh, two hours is 500. That's the whole entire beach, basically that consists of Santa Monica, Venice, Marina del Rey, and the Palisades. That's cool. Yeah. What was your name? Jason. Jason. Darby got the info. You guys hit up my boy Jason if y'all are in Venice or Santa Monica and want a bike tour. That's pretty cool. My little brother will want one, probably. All right, guys, so episode seven, officially in the books. We got into a really great jewelry partnership. So you guys look on our new website. Our website is live. So the website's live, so you can go and check out all the jewelry and watches and handbags that we have listed on the website. We don't have the largest inventory right now, but it is growing. Also, if you're looking to sell a watch, any jewelry, or a high-end luxury bag or sneakers, hit us up. We've got all the info listed on the website, so you guys go check it out. It is rebeluxla.net. Y'all go give it a look and then come back and let us know what you think. I'm all up for the constructive criticism, all capitals on the constructive part of that sentence. You guys know the deal. If you like this video, make sure to give it a little heart. Make sure you subscribe so you can see what we're up to. <laughs> so make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next week. Rebel Lux LA. Oh,